Hey guys, what's up? I feel like death and I think I look worse, uh, but I watched the first two episodes of WandaVision on Disney Plus that dropped today as I am filming this video, and I didn't think that they were very good. I don't really know what the general consensus is on the show right now. I feel like this might be one of those things where once we have the whole season, it will get better and these episodes will be more watchable. Uh, that is why I liked the Netflix model of let's just drop the whole season and people can watch it at their own pace. Uh, I don't like getting one episode a week, or in this case, two episodes this week. I don't know uh, what their plans are moving forward. If they're only going to do one episode a week or two episodes a week. I know The Mandalorian, I think, only did one episode a week, but those episodes were about an hour long. Uh, each of these episodes were not even half an hour long. The first episode, uh, when you take out the seven minutes of credits, it was about 20 minutes long. The second episode was only about 27 minutes long. Uh, so it might be that they are uh, doing two episodes a week to kind of uh, make up for these episodes being super short. I really don't know. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, I didn't have much expectations for this series, and I still came away disappointed from these two episodes. The thing is, uh, I do not care, uh, spoilers by the way, uh, I do not care about uh, The Honeymooners or I Love Lucy or uh, Bewitched. And uh, these two episodes anyway are heavily pastiching slash paying homage to those shows and that era of television. Uh, you've got Vision and Scarlet Witch uh, living the domestic, happily married lifestyle in uh, the late 50s, early 60s, and we already know that something is wrong because we have seen the movies with Vision and Scarlet Witch as superheroes in the 21st century. We know that these characters do not live in the 1950s. This feels like watching a murder mystery where we already saw someone commit murder in the first three seconds and then we have to wait a couple of hours to watch the detective slowly figure out that something is wrong. It is not fun for the audience to be ahead of the main character. We don't want to watch them figure something out that we have known this whole time. Uh, I wish they could have gotten to whatever point it is that they are going to get to a lot sooner. Or uh, drop the whole season like they used to do on Netflix and then I would probably watch the next couple of episodes tomorrow and then I'd be done with the season within a week. And then I wouldn't feel as frustrated with the lack of momentum with this show. Uh, because basically both of these episodes, uh, there's the domestic uh, sitcom stuff that's going on and then something weird happens and then Wanda starts to figure out this isn't right and then, oh, it's back to the happy haha -ha domestic sitcom stuff. Uh, two uh, episodes of that, basically a full hour, uh, that's a little excessive for my taste. Other people might think that this is perfectly okay to be moving at this pace. I really want to see something happen. Uh, we saw something at the end of the first episode, uh, and then we saw something again at the end of the second episode telling us that all is not what it seems, but again, we already knew that because we've watched Infinity War and Civil War and Age of Ultron. We know that these characters don't live in the 1950s in this funny little black and white world. And I say funny, it's not. Uh, I think I cracked a smile once. Uh, if you've seen the episodes, uh, they do a little magic show at one point in the second episode. Uh, and uh, right before uh, Vision and uh, Wanda do their bit on the magic show, uh, Vision is basically drunk. Uh, and then uh, he says he was out playing horseshoes and he can't remember the name of the game. And then someone walks by dressed up as a horse and he says, ha ha, I was just playing with their shoes. That was the only time that I actually laughed. Uh, I think that these actors are good at playing this type of stuff, uh, but again, I don't care about the shows that right now these two episodes are paying homage to. I was telling someone, uh, I wish that we could have had each episode is a different show. Uh, like, I think in the promo material, I saw Wanda uh, wearing bell bottoms at one point, so I assumed that we were going to get a whole bunch of different types of shows that uh, would be parodied here. Uh, like, at one point she's in the 70s, at one point she's in the 50s. Uh, I had told my friend uh, it would be cool if they could parody, like, the CW uh, teen angst stuff, like Supernatural or The Vampire diaries, something like that. Uh, you know, do some weird stuff uh, there. Because uh, here's the thing. I don't think that I'm alone in not caring about 1950s domestic sitcoms. Uh, I asked my dad, uh, who is 60, he was born in 59, and uh, he doesn't really remember watching those shows. He remembers the Honeymooners being in reruns, uh, but he didn't watch those shows a lot. Uh, so this era of history and television, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and assume that the target demographic of the Marvel shows and movies is not 
not very familiar with these shows and these movies. Uh, I don't think that most people in their teens and 20s uh, watch The Honeymooners. Some people, maybe. Uh, but I feel like I'm not alone in not really caring about this type of television that this show has now spent two episodes uh, making fun of and uh, parodying. Uh, I didn't really think any of it was funny, and maybe that's the point, but if you're wanting to do uh, a weird, sometimes it's almost like a horror thing, sometimes it's supposed to be funny, try to make it actually funny. Uh, but uh, having these characters say things that aren't funny, uh, probably because the shows that it's parodying aren't funny, okay, but then get to the point a little sooner. Don't do two full episodes parodying this stuff, uh, or do a different type of TV show with each episode. Uh, I didn't really care for it. Uh, the thing is, uh, the Disney Plus model of dropping one episode a week, uh, that could potentially backfire, because if we get another couple of episodes next week, and we still don't know what's going on, uh, and why uh, Wanda is living in this fake reality, uh, then uh, I very likely might not keep watching. Who am I kidding? I'm probably going to keep watching, but uh, when you give people an entire week to ruminate on how awful your first two episodes were, uh, they might not come back. Uh, if you drop the entire season at once uh, with Daredevil Season 1, I really liked Season 1, but it was like five episodes before we saw The Kingpin. Uh, if people coming in in the first episode said, I want to see The Kingpin, they could keep watching and eventually see The Kingpin, potentially on the same day that they started watching the season. You can't do that here. If you're disappointed, you have an entire week to wallow in your disappointment and potentially only be more disappointed by the time the next episode drops. Uh, that is why I don't like this. Uh, it's fine if you start off strong, but I don't think that this season started off strong. Again, uh, I think that when we have the whole season, this may be a little bit more watchable, but right now, watching these two episodes by themselves, I did not like it. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, he told me before uh, this drop, uh, watching the trailers, it reminded him of at the end of, I think, season three of My Name is Earl. Uh, Earl uh, is married to Alyssa Milano in, uh, he's in a coma. They're both in a coma, and uh, they are married in uh, this uh, sitcom-esque life with a laugh track, and it looks like the Brady Bunch or something like that. And first of all, I think that My Name is Earl did that a lot better, and it was a lot funnier. Uh, and second of all, we didn't have two full episodes of only Earl in this sitcom. We were also cutting back to the real world to see other people doing other stuff. Uh, here, I don't know what's going on, and maybe we'll find out in Episode 3, maybe when Episode 3 comes along, I'm going to be much more on board, but right now, I can't say that I was very impressed with the first two episodes of WandaVision. Uh, not a great start to the Disney Plus Marvel uh, television universe, uh, but anyway, uh, that's my thoughts. I uh, hope you guys like the episodes better than I did, and I hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys in the future, and hopefully, I will be feeling better when I do. Uh, in the meantime, have a good one.